All right, let's use ChatGPT to make your career change a lot easier. We're going to rewrite your original resume for your the job that you're targeting in your career change. Now, the biggest mistake I see people making when it comes to their career change resume is that they don't tailor it enough to their new industry and new function. And that's because it's quite honestly hard to do. <laughs> it's hard to do on your own. Um, I'm a former MBA career coach from Yale School of Management. And I tell you, I had to do hundreds of these and it's, it's a lot of work. Okay. So I understand why people don't do it, but when you don't do this, you miss out on opportunities in your new, um, your new target industry or new job and so on. So let's just make it easy by using ChatGPT. First off, I've got this prompt here. It's a tiny but mighty prompt. Um, I'll break it down for you so you know what we're doing here. Uh, first off, I'm giving ChatGPT context. I'm telling it what I'm doing, so I, that way it knows my intent. I'm, a, I'm making a career change from project management to outdoor tour guide. Obviously, swap out your own um, it, your own uh, data here. Next, I'm telling it uh, that I want it to find the transferable skills first. I want it to look at my resume, which I'll give it, and the target job. Again, I'm going to give it um, a copy of the job description that I'm targeting. And then I'm going to ask it to actually rewrite the resume for the target job with that in mind, using language from the job description. This is important because that'll make it easier for anyone scanning your resume to, um, to see how you qualify. Okay. So we're speaking their language. This is super helpful if you're transferring between industries and you don't speak their jargon. Okay. Um, or if you're coming from a jargony industry and you don't need that jargon in their industry, this can just help simplify things and really create a shared language. Okay. And that's just going to make it easier for people to understand what you can do for their company. Um, at the end, provide a summary of how you've adapted the resume. Now, the reason I add this is because it can be a little bit when you're doing this the first time, yeah, you'll get a resume, but it's helpful to know why, what changed, how did, how did the model position you for the job? This is going to benefit for you for when you go to tell your story about your, you know, why you're making the career change, why you're qualified in this new industry and so on. So it can be really valuable to kind of have this insight, um, as to how the model sees your career change. Okay. Um, so it's like another set of eyes um, and advice. So that's the prompt we're going to use. I'm going to add my resume here so it has context. I'm going to copy and paste my resume. I'm not going to take in any of my details, uh, my personal details at all, because ChatGPT doesn't need that. And uh, it's just good data privacy policy. And then I'm going to take a copy of the job description. Now, I'm not going to include all of this company culture stuff, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? What we're really looking at is this part here. What are you, they want, what do they want you to do in this job? And you can see this is a pretty different job from um, doing project management. Not completely. There's definitely some overlap, but it is different. So different language and so on. So we're going to, we're going to give it to chat GPT and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so already here's what it's saying. It's giving me a full breakdown of my career pivot. Thank you. I would love a career breakdown. Um, so it's going to give me this um, kind of uh, guide to, to the transferable skills, which I like. If you watch my prior video on um, using ChatGPT to identify your transferable skills, this should look familiar. And again, it's just kind of making those connections for you about things that might not be audience, um, obvious. You might not even think about risk management in the context of tour guides, but it turns out you can add some value there because you're thinking about risk. You're thinking about the safety of your passengers and so on. So again, this, this might not be useful what you need now in your resume, but it sure will be useful during when you tell your story about your experience and also in the interview process, right? Help you thinking through how you're qualified. And again, like I said in the previous video, it's going to give you some confidence, right? Because making career change isn't doesn't exactly build confidence. In fact, a lot of people feel very um, unconfident when they're doing this process. It's full of a lot of ambiguity and so on. So this can help, right? You got the skills. Okay, so here's your a rewritten resume. You'll see here um, kind of the summary. Look, I am not, I'll tell you straight up, I don't like a summary, but it could be beneficial for you in a um, career change resume because it's a position. I think it's rather outdated, but feel free to add that um, to your resume if you don't already have it. And obviously my example had a summary as well, um, in part because I just wanted to see what would happen. So skills, I don't think you should put your skills at the top. Put them at the bottom, okay? But that's a personal preference based on reviewing thousands of resumes as a career coach, but that's beside the point. Um, there's stylist differences. Okay, so now here we have our relevant experience and you can see things are cut down. You can kind of see here, this had a lot more jargon in it and stuff like that. Um, I And you can see, oops, let's go back to ChatGPT. 
Here, here is kind of a stripped down version of that. It's still ta talking about your achievements, right? You led 12 concurrent projects, each with teams of 10 people from diverse cultural and professional backgrounds. That's in the tour guide job description, right? So now you're just making it relevant to the job. That's what ChatGPT has done before. And we're talking about adaptability, training new team members, maintaining calm during high pressure timelines, resolving issues. Again, all things a tour guide is expected to do. And you can see here, um, just just how things have changed. We're, we're speaking a different language. The jargon has been taken out and so on. Um, in this case, uh, it added other experience. Um, we're going to assume that if you are applying for a tour guide uh, position, you actually have some other experience doing these things, I would hope. Um, and if you do, there's no harm in putting that in your um, in your resume, even if it is uh, unpaid, right? doesn't matter. You still did it, okay? And ChatGPT is giving you a place to put that here. If you don't feel like putting it there, don't worry. You don't have to do it. So here is your summary of adaptation, tone and format, shifted from corporate, technical to outdoorsy and human centered. I love that. Reframe leadership and logistics and planning experience as group management and trip coordination, skill translations, and to emphasize the interpersonal communication and problem solving skills over technical tools. Exactly what we needed to do. That is it right there. That is what I used to have to manually do for students who are transitioning industries, right? Because we are used to the language that we use in our industry. And we don't think about, or we don't know, or both, the languages that we use in other industries. So um, that is really the value of this exercise, right? In being able to have, it's, it's essentially translation. And this is what, this is what ChatGPT does, the generative AI tools do so well. It's this content transformation. Okay, so you have your resume, plop it into, you know, your Google Doc, download it as a PDF. Obviously, uh, <laughs> ChatGPT says it can make a PDF. It can't. Um, I Just format it yourself. It's fine. I mean, matching cover letter. You could, we could go further and see what's the cover letter say. Yeah, make a cover letter. No yapping. I add no yapping. If you see my videos, I add it constantly because I think, because I think ChatGPT talks too much and it drives me up a wall. So no yapping is my best way to get it to basically stop talking so much. Um, okay, so now we have a nice little cover letter. Uh, bonus, not even my intent, but thanks ChatGPT for asking. Um, look at that. So what would I do? What do I do next? One, I'm gonna plop my resume into a Google Doc, format it, and then send it off, right? No, just kidding. Um, we're gonna format it and we're just gonna make sure, we're gonna do a quick once over and make sure this is accurate. Because again, you've given it your resume, you've given it the travel guide, job posting, but it can take liberties. So make sure it's accurate before you submit it, okay? And in the future, if you want, you can go further. You can use this same thread to start having a conversation about, okay, I got the, I got the interview. What should I expect? How should, what do you expect the questions might be? And so on and so on. Again, ChatGPT is supporting you throughout your entire career change experience. So there you go. That is how you use ChatGPT to rewrite your career change resume.